Greetings, everyone. Thanks for being here. Uh, taking a moment to find your seat. We'll make sure that everyone's here with us. Please uh, remember to donate to Sun Water Virtual Classes. Uh, you can also look at all the replays on the Sun Wellness website, sunwellness.net slash virtual dash classes. If you need any extra assistance or help at this time, I am offering distance healings for donation through the month of April. So once you've found your seat, take a moment to close your eyes. If you're feeling ungrounded or thinking a little too much, you can bring one hand to the heart. Begin to slow down. Arrive. Honoring yourself as this new day, as this new being that just emerged. Cultivating a connection with the essence of your being, that remembrance that you are divine love and form. Regardless of what you do or don't do or say or don't say. Gathering all moments of yourself back to this breath, this heartbeat. Honoring that whatever is arising in this moment is simply the next part of you that is deserving of more love, not less. It is calling out for your loving gaze. So can you greet any tensions, any judgments? With love. We are love and form. We don't need to do anything to be worthy of that love. We are that love. That worthiness is who we are. It's beginning to drop into this space of worthiness. Honoring that you are deserving of experiencing peace and joy and love sweetness, compassion, patience. Finding an inner smile, feeling your inner radiance shining in all directions, basking in your own beauty. What kindness do you need today? Maybe just taking a moment to give yourself the love you deserve. I invite you to bring one hand to the heart if that feels right to you. And then just say some personal love affirmations to really establish the seed of our meditation today. In India right now, they are celebrating day six of Navaratri, the nine-day festival for the goddess. Today is the last day of Lakshmi, and Lakshmi is abundance and sweetness and love. So what do you need to hear from yourself in order to feel abundant, 
to feel love. Just saying those mantras into the heart. Maybe it's I love you, or maybe it's you are worthy. Maybe it's you've done it all perfectly. It's taking a minute to just honor your own being and your own experience with love. Could you say some affirmations down into your bones? Really anchoring this awareness into every fiber of your being, grounding it into this reality. Feeling these truths echoing inside the bones. You are worthy. You are enough. You are holy. You are a medicine in this world. I love you. I love you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm sorry you're in pain. I'm sorry you're in pain. I'm sorry you're in pain. You are holy. You are holy. You are holy. Thank you for being my teacher. Thank you for being my teacher. Thank you for being my teacher. And then whatever is coming up for you right now is simply the next one in line to be loved. Nothing to cast aside or change or become. Simply another part of you to welcome back to the light of the soul. Imagining now every cell in the body, trillions upon trillions of cells, all of your organ tissues, your hormonal glands, the nervous system, your lungs and heart, the circulatory system, respiratory system, cerebral spinal system, imagining the brain and the brain stem, the eyes, the mouth, the tongue, the ears. Imagining every cell of the body as a flower bud. Imagining yourself surrounded with the loving gaze of the divine, whatever name that means for you, whether it's God or Jesus or Buddha, Allah, Lakshmi, Krishna, Divine Mother, 
great spirit, the universe, whatever it may be. Imagining that love pouring like a waterfall from the heart of the heart of the creator. Washing over and gently caressing every rosebud or every bud, flower bud of every cell. Imagining those little flower buds could turn to face towards source, towards the heart of the heart of the creator, and begin to blossom open one by one. Millions of flowers opening to the love of creator. Billions of flowers, trillions of flowers all opening inside of you as an offering to the one. Feeling your own beauty, your own abundance, your own magnificence and splendor made manifest. Each flower embodying a moment, a thought, an experience, Offering it all to the heart of the heart of the creator, which is you. There is no separation. Honoring this body as a sacred offering for divine love to be embodied on this planet. You are divine love in form. So every cell is like a flower made an offering to creator and to creation. Imagining the sweet aroma of trillions of flowers as you. Radiating that sweetness thousands upon thousands of miles in all directions. Try this imagining creator picking you up as these trillions of flowers and taking in your sweet aroma. This is what creator is doing at every moment of your existence. Loving you deeper and deeper and cherishing you more and more and more at every single moment, regardless of what you do or don't do or say or don't say or think or don't think. Imagining the breath of creator, breathing this offering, breathing these flowers with a strong wind into every single moment of your life. And every moment that that flower touches, 
Your entire being turns into flowers, blossoming open, feeling the presence and the embodied love of the divine. all moments, even all challenges, all struggles, all suffering and pain and traumas, imagining you completely turning into flowers and that moment remembering that it is an offering and that you are held, you are cherished, and you are divine love and form. Imagine all moments of yourself as a child, also you becoming flowers, becoming off an offering, playfully, sweetly, embracing your essence, releasing any stories or judgments or belief systems, and fully opening to your purity, to your innocence, to your perfection, as divine love and form. Those flowers being breathed from the breath of Creator back in time to when you were a baby. And every moment that you existed on this planet in this lifetime, erupting into trillions upon trillions of flowers. That sweetness of your being shining through. Every moment you were held by your mother or your father or your loved ones. Also being held by the divine, that divine love holding each of your loved ones as well. Imagining you in the womb of your mother, the heart of the creator breathing that love and those flowers into the womb, transforming you in the womb into flowers and transforming the body of your mother into flowers, trillions upon trillions, opening releasing all traumas and triggers out of her DNA and cellular memory and out of your DNA and cellular memory. Every part of you has this sweetness, this offering of divine love and form. And imagining your father also turning into flowers, trillions upon trillions of flowers, basking in the radiant love and beauty of divine love. Imagining the creator breathing those flowers and that strong wind, touching every moment of your parents' lives, transforming them into trillions upon trillions of flowers, releasing all the old stories, belief systems and triggers and traumas, and offering every moment as divine love and form.
sending those flowers back in time, especially when your parents were children, transforming all, even their moments of trauma and trigger into love. Creator breathing and sending that divine wind to blow those flowers back in time when your parents were babies, all the times that they were held, all the times that they felt love, transforming all of their families, every moment that they were held, beginning to transform them also into trillions of flowers. Blown by the breath of Creator back in time, even further to when they were in the wombs of their mothers. Unfolding any residual family and ancestral karma, trauma, releasing all of the old stories, imbalances and struggles their mother's bodies, with the breath of the divine transformed into trillions upon trillions of flowers, their mothers as the offering of divine love, as the embodiment of creator and creation in form. That sweet wind of the omnipresence touching your father, their fathers, your grandparents, erupting them into trillions upon trillions of flowers, all the old identities, self-limiting belief systems and preconceived notions about the world, all the traumas and triggers dissolved into flowers to become offerings for the highest love of all beings. The sacred breath of the divine, sending those flowers back in time, back to every moment of your grandparents' lives holding them and cherishing them and loving them and helping them to blossom open, releasing what is no longer serving them so they can feel that they too are divine love and form. The sacred breath of spirit sending those flowers even further back, especially when your grandparents were children, transforming every moment of their being into flowers, into offerings. All the way back to when they were babies and everyone that held them, transforming into offerings of flowers so they too can feel that divine love. And those flowers being breathed to the moments that your grandparents were inside their mother's womb. All of those four mothers' bodies also transforming into flowers, releasing any traumas and triggers, any limiting belief systems, any judgments about themselves or about the world, them dissolving into an offering. And then sending it even further back. Imagine your entire ancestral line back and back and back. Dozens of generations all turning into flowers every moment of their life, every hardship, every struggle dissolved into an offering. 
sending it further back, hundreds of generations back, every moment of your ancestors' lives, feeling the sweetness of the divine alchemizing all moments into love, into the holy perfection as an offering, allowing them to remember and experience and embody this divine love thousands of generations back. Thousands upon thousands imagining that breath of the divine touching all of life on the planet throughout all time, dissolving all beings all the way back to the source of life, into flowers, into offerings, so every moment can be felt as this sacred offering. All old stories, pains and traumas and triggers dissolved into love so that divine love can be remembered, felt, experienced, and embodied throughout all moments of all life. Imagine all of life blossomed open and it has all led to you in this room, in this breath, in this moment. Coming back to your own body, your own breath, all parts of you offered all parts of you embodying the remembrance of divine love in form. Still staying connected to all of your ancestors and to yourself as an offering as you take three to four slow, slow breaths to open the eyes. Imagining all of your ancestors connected with you, peering through your gaze. Invite you to find a radiant smile. At every single moment, you are an offering. As I and all beings at every single moment are an offering. I honor this offering that we are, and we are one. Namaste. Thank you so much for being here. Again, please donate to Sunwater Virtual Classes. And if you need a little more assistance and help at this time, please reach out to me and I'd be happy to give you a distance healing for a donation. So thank you so much. I love you all and I'll see you tomorrow.